What's up everyone? Welcome back. Thank you for stopping in. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button just down below the video. I would love to have you here. Before you head out, give the video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And leave me a comment down below if you have time. So today I have an unboxing to do. This was loaned in from a good buddy of mine, Brian. Uh, go over to Instagram and give him a follow. You can find him at lord.needham. Uh, he's an awesome dude. He has all kinds of different high quality knives. Uh, me and him have very similar tastes in knives for the most part. Uh, and he gladly offered and shipped these over to me to take a look at. So shout out to you, brother, and thank you very much, man. I, uh, I really appreciate it. Without him, I just would not be able to check these knives out, uh, being as neither of them are available to be bought. Uh, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes you uh can't check everything out because not everything is always in stock uh we can go over what i have in my pockets right now uh got the tuya nv4 the s90v with the copper carbon fiber inlay i also busted out my we'll cover that up raptor v2 and the reason I busted that out is because I finally got my Jaeger, which you probably already know because that video will post before this one most likely. But uh, I just, I love this knife. Brian Brown uh, has grown on me. Uh, you know, I, I only had the Raptor V2 and I just got that recently and I, I love it. This is a totally different knife than as far as, you know, blade shape and aesthetics, but in their own right, I, I love them both. And I definitely see more Brian Brown knives in my future. So we will dig right into this guy. Do me a favor though and go over to Instagram one more time and give Brian a follow. He is an awesome dude. And I am very appreciative of him. We have been bouncing ideas off of each other for the last couple weeks and just bull crapping so he uh, offered to send these into the channel for me to take a look and I am stoked to say the least so there is one there is two we'll sit the box Oops, uh, yeah We'll set the box over here. This is just going to be a unboxing pretty much, guys. Because uh, we do have two here. But I will be, you know, doing an overview. And depending on how long I have these, uh, I'll do a, you know, short-term review type of deal. Uh, you got the typical affair from Jack Wolf's. This is the Venom Jack, and I've been waiting to get my hands on one of these guys for a very specific reason. There is your slip from Troy at Northwoods Leather, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is one of his slips. I'm almost positive. Definitely looks like one of his slips. Uh, yeah. Check out Troy at Northwoods Leather. And here we have the Venom Jack. Venom Jack. Oh. So he de 
Brian definitely made the right choice. This is probably the one. I just, I don't know why I haven't bought one yet. Just, there's always something else I think I would rather have. And I've mostly been, you know, other knives I'd rather have. And I've mostly been right. But, uh, yeah, that's definitely, definitely good. I am going to <clears throat> basically do a thorough investigation <laughs> into the Ohio River Jack and this Jack Wolf here because I really want to compare them and, uh, you know, without having the Ohio River Jack sitting right here next to me, uh, they feel, as far as like walk and talk, they feel very similar. This one might feel a little... I don't have the Ohio River Jack with me, so I don't want to say that this feels more than that or whatever, but it's definitely crisp and very well done. Look at the carbon fiber. Uh, I did switch sides of my table, so uh, the lighting will be coming at a different angle, so everything should look better, and there shouldn't be as much shadowing this way, so that will, you know, really help with the quality of the video. The simple fact is, uh, out here, I'm only going to have so much light, and that's just how it's going to be, but I think the quality of the video being shot this way, basically opposite directions, uh, is really going to help with the video quality. Uh, so you guys will have to let me know down below uh, what you think of being shot this way. So we will slide the Venom Jack to the side here. And what do we have here? None other than the Winter Blade Co. Factor. I've never checked one of these out. I've never held one. So I am pretty excited to check one of these out. Now my interest for these has been <clears throat> minimal. Uh, they look cool. The idea is cool. Uh, I just haven't been... It's not something I really was seeking out. It, it is cool. Uh, looks cool. And I love the uh, futuristic design and what Winters is doing there. Uh, very cool. So what? What do you... Oh, you pull this. Okay. That's definitely different. Every time, a ting. So, I'm not sure. I'm guessing... Yes, M390 on the blade steel there. On this modified sheep's foot blade. And then you have, I'm pretty sure, titanium and carbon fiber on this side. And then this is all magnetic as far as, I wonder, I forget what that does. What is that? Oh, wait, that's, okay, okay. Okay. So I think you can get a filler tab for this and get that replaced. I guess I could see doing that. It's kind of cool though. You almost got to wrist it out maybe. Or I guess I have heard that the uh, magnets weren't as strong I think in the second, the V2s. Which I'm pretty sure Brian said that this was a V2. 
or that maybe they sent stronger magnets. I don't know. Uh, I remember when people were pushing this and that thing was flying out of there. So I'm not... I'm not sure. But I definitely like... I definitely like the thumb flick and the reverse flick. Uh, as far as aesthetics, see, that's exactly the issue I had with the cubist or the cubist this these big in, indents into the handle i'm just not a huge fan of that and i think that's maybe why they're he's offering a filler tab for there now if you're just using this light duty edc you know cutting open some boxes or what have you uh you don't need to worry about that it's not really a concern for you so it's not a huge deal when it comes to that opening back there uh, not that you would really want to take this knife into a construction site or something of that nature and beat the hell out of it because the magnets in there and it could be just a huge issue especially if you're dealing with like metal shavings or anything of that nature obviously the magnets will attract that kind of stuff so if you do a lot of steel drilling or anything like that you will not want to probably take this knife with you but as far as an edc is concerned uh you know a light duty edc i could see this being you know very good and on top of that you have the fidget factor uh you know i i do like this but what i put this ahead of you know would i put this knife ahead of this knife no i wouldn't you know would i put it ahead of the jaeger no i wouldn't uh i wouldn't put it ahead of the raptor I would choose all three of the, these knives before I chose this one, most likely. Uh, now, that doesn't mean I don't like this, though. Uh, I could see myself having one someday, but uh, it ain't going to be something that I seek out or wait for or anything like that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what Brian is doing with this. Uh, I want to say the last I knew he was selling this or going to be selling it. Uh, so if you are looking for one of these, he might be your guy at some point. So there is a reason to go follow him on Instagram. Uh, you know, that way if he does post it for sale and you weren't able to get one for whatever reason, uh, that might be your shot there. But uh, I do like it. It's, uh, it's cool and it's unique, and that's probably the main reason I would get something like this. I'm kind of a fiend when it comes to locking mechanisms and getting different ones. Uh, and just trying new things out and this definitely fits that bill uh, but to me this would be really no more than a fidgety you know and it's got a good uh it seems to have a good thin slicey blade here i want to check the stock So it's probably like 115, I'm guessing. And then it's coming down to like 15, if not a little better. So that's pretty good geometry. Should we cut some? Yeah, let's cut some. If you want to hang around and watch these cut something, uh, go right ahead.
get out the old phone book paper. Okay. All right, that's good, good. At least you know if you're getting one of these, you're getting something that has a good edge. At least this one does anyway. Uh, See, that's how I will use a knife a lot, is I will get right up on the tip, you know? And that's how I will hold a knife a lot of times. Uh, I love getting right, I love getting right up in there, if you know what I mean. Uh, this one doesn't, this little lip here, I think, you know, with the right corrections on this knife, maybe. Uh, you know, I think maybe having a solid handle here, completely solid, have this line up here so you actually have like a complete, you know, you can get your finger in there, but I, get, I mean, it's all right. I just think it needs some tweaks, maybe. Uh, it's not gimmicky, it works good. Um, I don't know, you know, as far as first impressions are concerned, it seems to work good. Uh, let's see, I know that the Venom Jacks are a pretty slicey. They should be anyway. Like I've said before, this uh, phone book paper, though, will give a lot of knives trouble if they're not sharp. The uh, Jack Wolf. The Jack Wolf is pretty damn sharp, though. Yep. I don't know. Yeah, it feels good. It feels nice and thin, that's for sure. Uh, and I guess, you know, that's the thing with Jack Wolf says they're nice and slicey. I don't think is this the no, this isn't the S91. This is the M390. Still, I forget what the version was with the S90 on it. It's got to be thinner than that. So that's coming down, I bet that's 12 thousandths or better. So that's that's getting down there pretty damn thin. Uh, the stock is nice and thin. Yeah, I'd say these are two good knives. Uh, more in-depth uh, information to come on these guys though. Uh, Jack Wolf Knives, Venom Jack, right? Yes, the Venom Jack. And then the Winter Blade Co. Factor. Troy at Northwoods Leather. Check him out if you need any slips. And then I'll say it one more time, guys. Go follow Brian over on Instagram, lord.needham. Uh, great dude. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I will take care of your babies while I have them. And I, uh, greatly appreciate it, man. And with that being said, guys, that will do it for now. I will catch you guys later.